In this video I will show how to set up conversion tracking for an event such as a button click. So in this case this button uh, leads to a, an external URL that's not part of the client's website. So we want to track in Google Analytics as well as in Google Ads how many button clicks have happened as a conversion. So in this video I'll show you how to do this uh, fairly easily. So on the right hand side here you can see I have Google Tag Manager. We have Google Tag Manager added to this website and we have Google Analytics set up. So that's a pretty basic setup. Um, so now um, the next step is to do this event or click event conversion tracking. So first uh, we'll just go to uh, Google Ads and you want to go to go to conversions set up tools and conversions sorry measurements so when you're in here you want to click this you want to go website you're going to select your category here we're going to we're going to click uh, uh, book appointment and we're going to call this request a virtual pediatric visit put a button button click we want, we want to assign a value we'll set it to every time somebody requests it we leave this the way it is and then we'll click continue and then we can click uh, use Google Tag Manager and you can see the conversion ID and the conversion label we're going to need these details so each conversion has a unique conversion uh, label and ID so we're going to come into uh, uh, Google Tag Manager and click new here and select convert, uh, Google Ads conversion tracking conversion ID you're gonna copy this conversion label okay you can leave the rest of these as is now triggering we're not gonna trigger this on all pages I'm gonna click the plus icon here and trigger configuration and click just links now click this, some link clicks, and then we're going to copy over this URL and put it in here. So you can see that's right there. And we're going to call this request a virtual pediatric visit. Click save. And then you want to name your tags Google Ads. Click Save. And that's added there. So now uh, you want to click here next. Click Done. Now it's important that you need to have a, a, what's called a conversion linker. You just come here and, and select um, Conversion Linker and you're going to trigger this on all pages click save okay so that's the first step next uh, you want to set up a Google Analytics event in here so the way we do that is we're going to go to analytics I'm going to click new goal click custom continue here you're going to name the goal so we'll put request a virtual pediatric visit button click we're going to we're going to click event here your category is going to be button your action is going to be click and your label is going to be whatever is written here right so you you, you want to make sure that your buttons um, are text based uh, how do we select this So yeah, you just want to copy this request and make sure that you spell it exactly as it is. Request a virtual, I'm just double checking, request a virtual visit, okay. Request, and you, you can just make these all small letters, it doesn't really matter if they're large or small. Okay. 
Um, let's copy that so it's in my thing and then click save. So we created that goal here or that event. Now we got to create it in here. So you're going to click new. I'm going to click Google Analytics. So the page view is going to be an event. Category is going to be button. Action is going to be click. Label is going to be same thing, which you did over there. You want to select the uh, Google Analytics variable here. And uh, for triggering, since we already created this, uh, you can just use the same one, right? Because that's the, the same one. And I mean, if you don't have that there, you will just create it just like we did uh, previously, right? And then add your link there. Here we're gonna put uh, request a virtual pediatric visit button click. Again, it's very important to name these things so you can identify them. You can see here you have request a virtual pediatric visit button click, request a virtual pediatric visit button Google Analytics. And then you wanna make sure you submit this. And there you have it. So there you have it. Now you're all set up to track individual button clicks. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Take care.